Hey up everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Yorkshire Vlogger. In today's video, we'll be looking at every actor who played Superman. Superman has been a worldwide icon since his comic debut in Action Comics number no. 1 back in 1938. The man has everything, laser vision, super strength, power of light, great hair and a full-time job with benefits. It's no wonder he remains a fan favourite all these decades later. As such, Superman has been reimagined for the big screen dozens of times and his famous red boots have been filled by a wide variety of actors. In at number 9 it's Kirk Allen, Superman 1948 to 1950. As an early pioneer of silver screen heroes, Kirk Allen had to use what technology was available and follow instructions given to him by the directors. He did the best with what he could and that's admirable. What Allen struggles with are his stiff deliberate demeanor and forceful movements. Every single motion he makes is rigid and purposeful. Even his dialogue feels forced as the inflection in his words comes off as extremely scripted. It's almost like he was so worried about playing Superman that his performance suffered for it. That being said, he looked great in the suit and had a bewitching old Hollywood voice that was perfect for the role. In at number 8, it's Brandon Routh, Superman Returns 2006. In terms of action sequences, Brandon Routh is spot on for his character in Superman Returns. Each scene of flying, fighting or falling is vivid and immersive, almost dreamlike in some cases. He's imposing and certainly looks like Superman, but his attitude sets him apart from the others in a less flattering way. The issue is Routh's attempts at making the character character darker and edgier, these changes make sense in theory given the film's context, but it comes off as brooding and moody most of the time. His attitude leaves a lot to be desired, but he does a few things well. When it comes to his Clark Kent disguise, Routh generally looks like a different person. In at number 7 it's Bud Coiler, The New Adventures of Superman 1966-1970. Radio actor and voice star Bud Coiler first took on the famous role of the beloved superhero for a popular 1940 radio serial before later reprising the character in the 1966 animated series The New Adventures of Superman which follows the legendary figure as he fights to protect Metropolis from wicked foes. The programme was the first time that Superman Clark Kent, Lewis Lane and Perry White appeared in an animated form since the Fleischer Superman shorts from the 1940s and it went on to have a successful four season run. Coyle truly made the legendary character his own delivering a distinctive vocal performance by altering his voice for the two on-screen personas. In at number 6 it's George Reeves, Adventures of Superman 1952 to 1958. One of the classic supermen, George Reeves, did a lovely job capturing the suave noir side of the people's hero in Adventures of Superman. Film of this era was still adapting from the overacting needed to convoy emotion on stage and Reeves's interpretation feels wonderfully natural. He's smooth, charming and incredibly poised but what he's lacking is a connection with those around him. This Superman comes off more like a charming hero at a distance rather than a man of the people. He feels just a little standoffish at times with Clark Kent's more serious business minded attitude constantly shining through. The few times he does open up a little it's a sweet endearing treat. In at number 5 it's Dean Kane, Lewis and Clark The New Adventures of Superman 1993 to 1997. While Lewis and Clark doesn't quite hold up to the believability of Smallville, Dean Kane added a lovely sense of humour to the character in Lewis and Clark The New Adventures of Superman. 
Out of his Superman costume, he feels a bit like a sitcom dad. His body language, speech and wardrobe all give off a very casual vibe. Kane's take is easily the friendliest of all the Superman yet and it's heartwarming to see the way he interacts with people in dire situations. His loving relationship with Lois makes him feel very approachable and he has some serious moments that contrast well with his more light-hearted personality. He's not as mature and worldly as some other entries on this list and he sometimes seems less like a hero and more like one of the guys but the character's youthful looks is still very enjoyable. In at number four, it's Tom Welling, Smallville, 2001 to 2011. The best part about Smallville is how much time it took to flesh Clark Kent out, and the series is still adored to this day for how it redefined Superman for the 21st century. Tom Welling showed us the younger, very human side of Superman as he learns what he is and how to use his powers. He's humble and a little naive and we see bits of self-doubt, confusion and even jealousy and anger at times. As the story progresses he builds on deep connection with friends, family and Lois Lane and it's refreshing to see him surrounded by people who build him up. The series finale did a wonderful job at capturing the old Hollywood feel of the original Superman shows and the ending is often revered as one of the most satisfying in TV history. In at number three, it's Tyler Hoechlin, Superman and Lois 2021. Along with Elizabeth Tulloch as Lois Lane, Tyler Hoechlin stars as Clark Kent in the current hit show, Superman and Lois follows the legendary superhero and Daily Planet's best reporter as they return to Smallville with their sons Jonathan and Jordan. Set in the CW's Arrowverse, the series picks up with Carl L after years of facing megalomanical supervillains, monsters and alien invaders intent on wreaking havoc on Metropolis and wiping out the human race. The world's most famous superhero and comic book's most famous journalist. In at number two it's Henry Cavill, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman and Justice League 2013 to 2017. As far as the role of Superman goes, Henry Cavill feels the most like he is Superman rather than someone in a suit. His attitude is just the right blend of humble, kind and initially driven to hell and this is balanced out with a sort of world wariness. He's just a little grittier than we normally see Superman and he doles out hard justice when it's necessary. This particular Superman also shows tons of emotion. He's a little sassy and humorous under his steel exterior and subtle changes in his expression often convey irritation and self-doubt. In at number one it's Christopher Reeve Superman, Superman 2 1978 to 1980. 1978's Superman is arguably the most wholesome version of our hero thus far and Christopher Reeve sells the part flawlessly. His take is sweet, considerate and helpful. Using x-ray vision to screen Lois Lane for lung cancer informing us that he doesn't drink when he flies. Reeve does a wonderful job of showing us a hero that's a man of the people and he's both humble and self-assured when performing heroic feats. On top of all this his exterior seems a bit deadpan this makes his scenes even more enjoyable when he opens up and makes a jerk or flirts with Lois. Purity and wholesomeness are core of his character and subdued sense of humour rounds him out nicely. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching Yorkshire Vlogger. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Stay safe. Bye.